Okay, so I'm back in here folding these sleeves again. Slid them doors shut because it is windy out, Palm Sunday. And just want to put you guys there like that. And uh, I will voice my opinion. Uh, whether you guys can hear me or not. Um, I just I am sick and tired of, uh, well, let's bring you guys up a little bit. There. Of how I am, uh, sick and tired of, uh, saying, oh, you know, you shouldn't listen to this kind of music. I really do get it. But what do you do if you're like us who live in the country and you don't live in the city with, with, with a bunch of people? Um, and you have to you know, basically nitpick and say, oh, you can't listen to country music because it. Uh, it glorifies, you know, it glorifies drinking and all that. Okay, yeah, I get that. I really do, but what, uh, what are you supposed to do if that's all the, the radio station you can get? I mean, that just, that just burns me to no end. But I just I just feel that's for more of like the city people that uh, have all the time in the world to basically pick and choose what kind of music that they want to listen to. Whereas, you know, country people, no, no, we don't have that. We don't have that luxury because, A, the uh, what we might be in doesn't get uh, that kind of radio station. Uh, or B, um, we, might be, we might live in an area that gets very, very poor radio reception and uh, I'm not going to do I'm not going to pay but I think it's like 40 bucks or something 10 bucks or something to uh, listen to pay a monthly subscription uh, to Christian music on my phone that's going to uh, take up storage when um, I can uh, just listen to what's on the radio and believe me they are really 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 strict on rock music well again you know there are very very few I mean let's say so very few radio stations in Northeast Ohio that are uh, quote-unquote Baptist um, and the church that we go to I will not mention no names um, I used to listen to uh, one oh what is it um, 1033. Um, the Moody Bible Institute thing. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. 
I think it was somebody in the, in the church. I told them that, you know, can I listen to that? And they were like, you listen to that? They don't use the King James Bible. I'm like, yeah, so? Oh, you shouldn't listen to that. That'll, that'll ruin your, your testimony with God. You know what? I think you're right. And I'm not listening to that anymore. Basically, they're all like, oh, if you don't, you know, do this, 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 you know, follow the Bible down to the T, you know, you don't love God, verse, basically, you don't love God, in other words, is what they were saying. Now, do I agree with that? No. I feel that you can be a Christian and still listen to whatever you want. So, yeah, plus I don't drive, so I don't have free range of the radio in the car or truck, whatever the heck I'm riding in. So, there, all you church people, meh. Uh, I had to run after more string because um, I'm not satisfied with this. Um, either my tying abilities just went down down the hill down the drain or I'm really starting to suck at tying um, might not just be that I'm sucking at tying it might just be that I'm sucking at tying <laughs> um, so yeah maybe if I go this way with it or no I screwed this whole thing up. Yeah. I should have went two strings instead of just one. Uh, because now I gotta put that I have to deal with. And we don't like buster clubs. No. We like doing things the right way. Like that. Well, I know. But, uh, that is beside the point. And, oops, we'll just make a pile right there and call it good enough. Man, was I on a roll a little bit ago, but you guys, I think you guys understand that. Uh, just, you know, show me a church that's actually out in the country in Ohio. Uh, because the one in Akron, that, no, that just, that just rubs me the wrong way about music. I'm sorry. It, it does. And I think God understands where I'm coming from. I think he does. What do you guys think? So I got all those wrapped, or not wrapped, uh, folded up. New roll is there. Uh, there's some back there behind the ripper but I don't feel like getting my head uh, harpooned, so um, I'm going to leave those back there. Um, or no, you know, there's room to walk back here. Why am I making excuses? Excuses are, are just a, a poor way of saying I don't want to do something. Now me, I'm, you know, willing to 
to try something. Oh, good grief, at least once. Ouch. Um, when it comes uh, to like doing something. Uh, no, I, ouch. Uh, the only thing that I can't do is weld. But a couple you know why that is. And the rest of you don't. So I'm just going to make it nice and easy. Ask the ones that do know why I can't do what I do. Why I can't weld and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I'll come back and tidy them up uh, maybe this week. So that they look like those. Um, so yeah, that's just a little bit about what we're doing. And then uh, he wants, wants to put the call to packer. Um, that's behind the disc. Wants to put it behind this uh, 6120. Just a packer. Um, it would pull the... Uh, no. Would it? No. This is right up there with that 7200. Uh, this is not uh, 145 horsepower. It's only 120. I think it'll still pull that call to packer. The 4020 is 90 horse. 90 or 95 horse. And it pulled it just fine last year. So I don't think this will have any problems. I just got to just got to get rid of them forks because um, I don't want them forks out there uh, causing more of a of a uh, pain in the arse uh, than it already will be with this loader. Uh, the loader is, it's a challenge to take on and off when you don't know what you're doing. Uh, we need somebody that knows, that has done these a couple thousand times to uh, do it for us or something like that. Um, but it takes a little bit of getting used to though. Um, and stuff like that. So that's gonna be, uh, tomorrow's job is uh, backing this uh, combination out. Um, I'll probably set it up, set the camera up so you guys can watch me kink that tongue um, on that packer. Uh, if it does happen, it probably won't happen and it probably isn't going to happen. Uh, I think I'm about putting it over over there in the grass somewhere but that's tomorrow's job